yeah, it's a it's a big uh, it's a big change in scenario, as you sort of said. Like, so many graduates now go from their degree straight into sales, thinking, "Oh, this will be sort of fine. I'll rock up and I get to get to go out for nice lunches and go on big team dues and things like that." Because that's what we shout about. That's what companies shout about on their uh, on their hiring pages. Um, but you forget that you've actually got to do the job um, at the same time. And active listening or sort of being considerate, if you will, is something that <clears throat> I have struggled with. Certainly at the start, probably even now, like no one's no one's perfect. Everyone has their their weak spots. Um, it is showing that consideration for the other person that you're talking to um validating what they're saying appreciating what they're saying consider considering the fact that actually i'm taking your time away from you not vice versa so it's 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 polite to start with but also it's a very very key it's a very very key skill for being able to understand your prospects frame of mind what make what is important to them um and active listening is obviously a huge part of that, even if it's as something as simple as if you're if we're on a call such as this, um, like just a, like a nod, like a sort of a, a murmur of agreement, things like that. Don't just sit there with a pen in your hand writing notes what they're saying on a on a notebook or tapping away. Um, they're giving you their time, so just be polite. Yeah, it's um, it, it's a weird one because I think I. I the majority of people would say that they're good listeners probably well almost all people would say that yeah i'm, I'm a great listener really good listener but uh, active listening is um is uh, is another level of understanding taking that information in formulating a, a response that is um like you said like an uh, a more considered educational mm. or educated like feedback of I hear what you're saying. I've put it through a, my mind in terms of process, and this is what comes out the other end in in terms of something that is constructive. Yeah, act, active listening is not hearing, right? It's not just hearing the words that have been said to you. Um, it is, as you've just said, using using those words to to improve the situation of the prospect. Because whilst no one will deny that people who work in sales are here to make money if we can solve problems along the way then surely that's a win-win invariably you can't do the first one without first solving the problem um because you won't close a deal unless you solve a problem um and in order to solve a problem you have to really understand what makes that prospect tick what problems they're facing currently um and if your solution fits um i think a, a big part of my sales growth, if you like, is a quick qualify out. Um, it's something that I never, ever, ever did starting out. I would never, ever, ever say, let's just pump the brakes. I don't think this is going to work. We're not the right fit. Um, thanks for your time. Carry on with your day. That was not something I would never, ever do. But active listening, as we've just said, using that information, digesting it, really understanding what the situation is um, will allow you to then potentially save time in your life by qualifying out because it's no good to anyone. If you go through cold call demo, more qualification, maybe another stakeholder comes in for a chat, you get them on board and realize, Oh, hang on, this isn't a fit. Um, qualifying out is one of the most grown up things that you could do as a salesperson. And it's one of the hardest things I think. Um, but you don't get to be able to do that without active listening.